the Virgil Roses here, accompanied by the one and only JEGX Juggalo. What's going on, everybody? Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, we actually want to do a video, a special video, uh, for the new Pokemon Gym uh, rework update. Um, me and Juggalo, actually, we have already tested it out. It was pretty decent. Uh, there's a lot of things that we don't like about it. We'll explain what that is in just a moment. Uh, there's a couple of things that we do like about it. Um, for starters, like uh, you can actually kind of interact a little bit more with the gym. Uh, they did add where you can spin the photo disc. I'll actually show you uh, what that is in just a second. One second, let this load up. But yeah, um, I guess we'll just start with Juggalo uh, with your opinion on the new gym rework and what um, do you think? Well, personally to me, I think uh, it's really not that, uh, I think it's it's better in some aspects, but honestly it's worse in others. Yeah. Um, for Just for example, I mean, the fact that you can only get 50 coins a day. Yeah, I don't like that either. And you can't um, gain the stardust either from collecting from the gems, exactly. which I don't like. But we're gonna go ahead and spin this uh, photo disc real quick and go ahead and get this uh, Pokemon gym badge. Yay! Yay! There gym it is. Badge. The gym badge. Whoop, whoop. There you go. All right. And we got a team bonus. This actually currently is a team Mystic Gym. So they give you just a couple more items, just, you know, because you're supporting your team, that such and whatnot. Um, but also, they have an open spot. Uh, me and Juggalo actually were thinking of, since it's already an Eevee themed gym. We we're thinking of dropping like something to do with Eevee. Um, so I think I'll probably drop in my. Um, I don't know. Drop in Eevee, I guess. Which would be fine. I'm not going to drop in my 100% Eevee because I want to like evolve that. Right. So I'm going to drop in like, <laughs> I guess, just like. Um, let's see. Uh, let's go down to the E. It's one second, guys. Mm. Come on, baby. Oh, it's going a little bit slow. Hold on. There we go. All right, so we're going to just drop in. I'll drop in this 372. Awesome. 372. Yeah, even though he's going to get knocked out, like, super quick. But you still. You know what? It's fine. It'll be out. It'll be it's, out. A, it's all right. Oh, look at him. There he is, guys. The EV in the center. It's so cute. All right. And now, uh, Juggalo, he was going to drop in, actually, his Tamau Umbreon. Oh, I thought I was dropping in the other one. Not Espeon, Umbreon, yeah. Now with uh, Lolly, she's going to drop in her Espeon. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's fine. I uh, say I have to find it. Awesome. Yeah, Give it, it one moment, guys. But yeah, this is going to be an Eevee-themed um, gym or whatnot, which is pretty cool. All right, here comes his. He got the gym badge. And we are currently um, at a church parking lot. Let's see here. One second. I dropped it in. So. Waiting for him to pop up there. Let me back back out. Oh, there he is. There he is. Yay. There he is, guys. There it is. Let's see. It's going back in. Look how cool that looks. And we'll go ahead and get her in real quick. She's going to drop in her Espeon. And then we'll have a full Eevee evolution. Well, current Eevee evolution. Technically, it's not. But since they don't have, you know, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh generation out yet. Exactly. You know, yeah. You don't have Leafeon and Glaceon and all that yet. But uh, for now, this is all of the Eevee evolutions that are available, which I think is pretty cool. It's actually, you can um, have a themed gem, which I think is really neat. Um, but like I said, back to the things that we don't like about the gem. Uh, first of all, it can only hold six people now. That can pose a huge problem if you hang out with, you know, seven or more people because, you know, they're battling, 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 taking the gym down. And then all of a sudden, there's only six open spots, which... I don't really care too much for that. Also, another thing, a uh, spoofer problem. It's kind of rewarding spoofers for spoofing. But, um, yeah, and um, I don't know, just if a spoofer drops the gem, yeah, we get to collect, but you can only collect 50 coins a day. That's another problem. But we can still collect, but at the same time, it opens six open spots immediately. There's no uh, prestiging anymore to level up the gem. Uh, so that is a problem in my opinion because basically a spoofer can just have six fa false accounts and just drop six accounts right in exactly. with no with no effort at and, all. And there she is. And there she is. Fantastic. All right. So we got all six right here. All six Eevees, Eevee Evolution, well, five Eevee Evolutions technically. And then Eevee himself just chilling out right here. Exactly. Okay. If you click your character here, basically scroll down. 
they added where you can see your recently visit gyms. Um, also, you can go to your list, which it'll basically load your gym list of the gyms that you visited and spun the uh, photo discs on the locations. Also, at the top left corner of the gym badge emblem will show if you have a Pokemon in the gym currently. Like, it's got like a little Pikachu symbol there showing that I have a Pokemon located at that gym. And if you click into it, it'll load and show you what Pokemon is actually defending the gym, how much morale they have left, um, which is the little heart meter to the bottom right corner of the character, uh, how many treats you fed the Pokemon while they've been defending the gym, and how much time they've defended the gym. See, it says 3 days, 21 hours, 37 minutes. Once this Vaporeon returns, I will be rewarded uh, 50 uh, coins to be used at the Pokemon store. Alright, let's see, and that's Remember Sacrifice um, Gym Badge. And it basically just lists all the gym badges that you've earned and spun so far. And you could level up these gyms too by feeding Pokemon and defending and battling the uh, gym, the opposing gym. If it's like owned by a opposite team, if you battle it, you level up the gym. Uh, if you your team currently owns the, uh, the gym, you could feed the Pokemon in the gym to basically level up your gym badge as well, which will reward you special items. Also, you can click this here, and it shows an actual world map. And you can see, basically, which gyms you have around the world. Um, plus, if you actually um, click your character itself, it will show what gyms are around the area. Like, see, if you click this one here, basically, this is a Vandalia Presbyterian Church. And it shows roughly around where you are from where it is. So it's, it's kind of decently... Not too far away from it, but decent. It's got like nine, nine gems around this area. There's seven, there's two there, there's 12 over here. And then basically if you zoom back out, it will show you how many you have in total. So currently I, I have 39 gem badges like around the world so far. Uh, so like if I, let's say I was to travel to Japan, the gem badges would be around this area here etc so it's pretty cool so that way if you travel a lot um, you can actually have gyms around the world and it would show where they're located around the world which is pretty cool and you could zoom in like I showed you zoom out on that map there also if you click this icon here to the right bottom left co right corner of the screen you can have them by uh, names of A to Z uh, you could have your gyms by defending recent or by points uh, that you've earned by leveling up the gem itself. Like, let's just click points for example and see basically like for example uh, the Van Vandalia Presbyterian Church, uh, Christ Lutheran Church, the meter is slightly going up. Also let me just back out of this and show y'all one more thing. They actually have a new badge here to where you can um, get a badge and upgrade your badge depending on how long you've actually defended the gym. I currently earned the gym for defending the gym for 10 hours. Then the second badge I earned, I think it was yesterday, for defending the gym up to 100 hours. And then the next milestone is defending the gym for 1,000 hours. Currently I have 415 of 1,000. And also they added this badge here, uh, which is um, feed 1,000 berries at Pokemon Gyms. I've already earned the bronze medal for feeding 10 berries at gyms and I've won the uh, I've earned the uh, silver medal as well for feeding 100 berries to Pokemon at friendly gyms. So I'm working on the thousand currently. I have 103 out of a thousand. So those are just a couple more things that I wanted to just go over with you all. And yeah. we're gonna do the feeding now. I'm exactly. gonna actually show you how that works. Basically you choose what berry you want to feed them and you just touch it and it will actually replenish their morale meter. Uh, each Pokemon has a morale meter, and see, as you as you uh, feed them, you gain, um, uh, you level up your gym badge, as well as you gain, uh, what is it, 50 Stardust? Let me see how much You gain 20. 20 Stardust. 20 Stardust, yeah. and then, uh, as you can see, the little heart meter is actually going up.
Yeah. That's a, that means you're actually giving them more morale, or as I like to call it, more 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 heart points. You know? Yeah, some heart points. So right health. there, they'll yeah. fight. They'll fight harder. They'll fight and longer stronger. For you. Yeah, they'll live longer. And you also get periodic mentions or whatnot. Where basically they'll say um, that you need a, to give them a treat, or if they've been knocked out of a gym, you'll actually get notifications saying they've been knocked out of a gym and things like that, exactly. which I think is really neat. So. And they're just racking up Stardust, you know, a little by little. I mean, yeah, it takes a little bit to get some by doing this, but, you know, hey, it's better than nothing, right? Exactly. It's better and not than to nothing. mention, in fact, uh, from what I've also heard as well, um, once you, you once that gym badge that you get, you actually levels it up. Okay. And once it gets leveled up, it'll move on to the next, next stage of uh, the next tier of... Uh, of rewards you'll actually get better rewards all right this one actually is pretty low so what we're gonna do we're gonna actually use a golden berry a golden raspberry um basically what this does this is actually a item sorry hold on one second my character's gps drifting but there this is actually an item that you get from uh basically participating in a raid um you will be rewarded uh possibly the golden raspberries uh, possibly a technical machine, which is used to teach your Pokemon a new charge attack. So let's say if you have a high IV Pokemon, but it is given at random, you know, when you evolve it, a bad attack, but you still want to keep that Pokemon because it has good IVs. You can use a technical machine to actually possibly fix that bad uh, move set that it learned. All right. All right, here we go. All right, this bad guys, we're going to try to hurry this up. But yeah, it's supposed to revive it like 100% of morale. Let's see what it does. Come on. Yep, 100%. See? It, like, went all the way up. So I used that actually earlier on one of my Vaporeons. Uh, he was, I mean, 0% morale. If they would have attacked him once, you know, he would have been knocked out of the gym. And basically it revived him all the way from 0% to 100%, which is pretty cool. That's awesome. Um, but I'm just going to show you real quick, guys. We're going to get out of this gym. And I'm going to show you uh, my, my uh, items that I have. Um, I think I have one rare candy left, and then I have uh, the technical machine. Uh, yeah, so here we go. Uh, we got the uh, technical machine. This technical machine teaches the Pokemon a new charged attack. Rare candy, uh, like I showed you earlier um, in my last video that I actually did about raids. Uh, basically, uh, when you use the rare candy, it turns into any type of candy that you use it on that Pokemon. So let's say if you use a Blissey candy to whatever type. Uh, that you choose which is pretty cool so and then we got the raid pass which basically is rewarded to you once a day if you don't already have one from a uh, gym or what now you just spend basically the photo disc at a gym all right let's see do we have any more items and of course I showed you the golden raspberry so I think that's it as far as the special items but that is pretty much that as far as the gym reward okay let's see uh, congratulations you have earned a medal for feeding a hundred berries at gyms fantastic yeah but another uh, pretty cool thing about the uh, gym rework um, is basically um, it's more team based now like you can still take down a gym by yourself but it takes more time to actually drop it solo now than it does back you know before that type of thing um, because like I said the morale meter and things like that um, but uh, what is what is your opinion on it, Juggalo? Like as far as like um, the new gym rework? Like I know you don't really care too much for it. Uh, the fifty coins is kind of like I don't know. I mean I do like the hundred coins, and the guaranteed uh, was it three thousand or five thousand stardust per day? Five thousand, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, five thousand for ten yeah, gems. Yeah. yeah, I believe it was five thousand. Yeah, yeah 5, I think 000. it's a honestly in my in awesome. my honest opinion, I honestly think the whole gym rework. Uh, they really need to. They need to basically improve it. Fix it up. They some. need to basically do uh, make it to where it's uh, it's a hundred coins a day, like it was uh, exactly previously. Because it takes too long to get. And items. It basically, for one, yeah. to me, it basically makes it to where okay, back in the day, yeah, you used to you used to have like fifty, you know, like 30, 40 gems, and you still collect ten, which exactly. is fine. Yeah. Because if somebody knocks it out, yeah, you still have that backup now. Exactly. I see now with this morale boost and freaking be feeding berries, uh, you know, and also which is time consuming. Plus, uh, plus the fact also getting fifty, also getting fifty freaking coins only. Yeah. I see. It's it's just to me it's just not uh it's not just, worth it. It's not worth playing yeah. the game anymore. Yeah, and and I also I mean I don't know just when you knock down a gem, for example, it's kind of rewarding the player. 
like it's supposed to be devastating to lose a gem but it's not really anymore because whenever like let's say if this was a red gem here uh, even though it's a blue gem I'm just using that as an example if it was a red gem I was attacking I drop it basically their Pokemon will return but since their Pokemon returns if they've been here for a certain amount of time they would be rewarded coins when their Pokemon returns. Yeah, so that's like the, rewarding them for losing. Yeah, I believe you know it's type a, of thing. I believe it's like it's like ten, one coin one every coin, ten yeah. one coin every ten minutes. Yeah, like one coin like every ten minutes or so. So basically, I don't really feel that that's good. It should be devastating when you lose a gem, that type of thing. Like, but now it's like people are tra you know trading like you know basically you know okay uh, I knock you out okay you collect I I go in. You knock me out, I collect. You know, it's like yeah. other teams are helping other teams. It should be like we're against each other. We're different teams. It should be more competitive, you know, like, but I don't know. I'm not really feeling that. I don't I don't really feel that that should be a thing, that type of thing. That's just a, a, a major thing that I have a problem with. Uh, the actual gym battles themselves, uh, they did uh, refix um, the battle damage when you take a charged attack if you dodge it it doesn't hit you for the full amount of attack and then recover your health back anymore thank god they fixed that that was Definitely. annoying yeah very very annoying back in the day when i'm trying to take down a gym and even though i dodged the attack it would still knock out my pokemon which was really annoying not, but they fixed that oh right, go ahead buddy. What, and not to say? mention also the fact that they actually made the gym battles faster yeah the gym battles are a lot more quick uh i like the animations showing your actual character things like that so i guess they're trying to implement that to where it'll be more pvp uh oriented in the near future uh trading things like that i could see that in the near future um and i hope uh, another cool thing uh is that they actually uh have it to where they can hold a berry or hold like an item yeah. when you trade them. Oh, That'd yeah, be that would really, be awesome. really neat. Niantic, if you're awesome. watching this video, please, please have it to where our Pokemon can hold an item when we trade it. Because I have way too many special items right now. And a lot of my <laughs> friends need them. But they don't have them. And then like when I'm spending them, when Juggalo's spinning for me or whatnot. And he's getting me like two or three rare items per night. 10Ks and stuff. Yeah, and I can't, that. yeah. And I can't, <laughs> and I can't like, you know, give anyone anything you know even though i have all these free items and things i can't even use you know it would be really good to be able to gift someone that actually needs it that special item which i think would be really neat um definitely but yeah but uh that's pretty much i mean unless yeah. you can think of anything else i, I mean no. No, i mean no. i love the way the, the gems look now they yeah. look really neat um I mean, if, really stylish um i mean granted if they could fix it um, to me the major problem is the simple fact that i mean you really can't earn coins as much as you used to. I mean, yeah, that's a big deal because we need incubators, and not everybody has money exactly. to I mean, spend on the game. Exactly, like, it's like exactly. you know, it's just it's it's kind of you know wrong. I mean, I know it, you know, it, yeah, y'all want to make money and stuff. Niantic, you got to make money. I mean, it's an amazing game, but at the same time, you have to think about the people that don't have money to spend on again, the game. You know, type of thing. Dang it, they probably just say, "Well, if you're too broke, don't play a game." <laughs> But I love you guys so very much. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already uh, subscribed, go and click that subscribe button. Show us some love. <laughs> and be sure to check out YouTube.com forward slash The Virgin Rose XBL. Twitch.tv forward slash The Virgin Rose. Twitch.tv forward slash JEGX Juggalo. YouTube.com forward slash JEGX Juggalo. Why? Because it's going down live. That's why.